Tofu is a little misunderstood, especially amongst meat lovers, some of whom refuse to put it across their lips. Well, more fool them, in my opinion, because tofu, when it's handled properly, tastes absolutely delicious. It's made from soy beans, like this miso and tamari sauce. And while soy is a controversial food, in the form of tofu, miso, tamari and other fermented soy products, it has many health benefits, particularly for women around my age. These tofu patties are great. They're rich in fiber, plant protein, good fats, and they're suitable for anyone with a wheat or gluten intolerance. Oh, and did I mention that they were easy and delicious? Well, I should have, because they are. Now, you'll need 500 grams of firm tofu, and it can be a little bit wet in the packaging. So just get a piece of kitchen paper, take it out of the packaging, and just blot the moisture with the kitchen paper. And then just leave that and you can go off to make the rest. Now there's really nothing to this dish. You need two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. Just heat that up in a pan and add to that one finely diced Spanish onion, two grated carrots and two stalks of finely diced celery and one teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. Now being dry they're full of flavor so you don't need that much. Just stir that up and cook it for about three to four minutes until the veggies are tender. Now when these are cooked, grab a big bowl and just spoon the contents of the pan into the bowl and add to that one cup of cooked short grain brown rice and two thirds of a cup of chopped walnuts. Just give that a bit of a mix. Okay, now we're just gonna grate the tofu into the mixture so I'm using 500 grams, which is both blocks of this. And just mix that up. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix together two tablespoons of shiro miso. This is made from fermented soy and rice. And to that, one tablespoon of yellow mustard and three tablespoons of hull tahini. This is made from ground sesame seeds. Now add two tablespoons of tamari. This is salt reduced tamari. And all of this is not only going to help bind the patties, but it will give it a delicious flavor. Now just spoon it into the bowl. Now just mix this together until it's well combined. Now I like to get in there with my hands and make the patties. Wet hands are slightly better, slightly damp hands are good. I've lightly oiled my baking tray. And this mixture is going to make about 10 patties. Okay, a quick brush with some sesame oil and these are ready to go into the oven. I've got the oven heating to 180 degrees. They're going to cook for about 20 minutes. And here it is. Serve it with a spicy salsa and green salad or with a hot tomato sauce. Both vegans and meat eaters are going to love it.